let my mouth be filled with your praise, that I may sing aloud. My lips shall shout for joy when I sing to you, O Lord. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. We offer this Mass to the glory of God, and praying especially today for those who are beginning to return to work um, following the strict lockdown, those who are anxious about how their day will unfold, and those who are travelling away from home. We also continue to pray for those who are restricted to their homes, and all those who are feeling particularly uncertain at the moment. I pray too for those of you who are participating in this Eucharist at home, that you will feel that you are able to drink deeply, as the prophet Isaiah puts it, drink deeply from the wells of salvation, and that you may be restored and renewed in this day. So as we prepare to celebrate these holy mysteries, let us first call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy upon you, forgive you your sins, and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in, in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, restorer and lover of innocence, direct the hearts of your servants towards you, that those you have set free from the darkness of unbelief may never stray from the light of your truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some men came down from Judea and taught the brothers, unless you have yourselves circumcised in the tradition of Moses, you cannot be saved. This led to disagreement, and after Paul and Barnabas had had a long argument with these men, it was arranged that Paul and Barnabas and others of the church should go up to Jerusalem and discuss the problem with the apostles and elders. All the members of the church saw them off, and as they passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, they told how the pagans had been converted, and this news was received with the greatest satisfaction by the brothers. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and by the apostles and elders, and gave an account of all that God had done with them. 
But certain members of the Pharisees' party, who had become believers, objected, insisting that the pagans should be circumcised and instructed to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and elders met to look into the matter. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. I, I rejoiced, rejoiced when, when I heard them say, let, let us go, go to God's, God's house. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. I, I rejoiced, rejoiced when, when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up the tribes of the Lord. I, I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. I, I rejoice when I heard them say, let, let us go to God's house. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my she sheep, and my own know me. Alleluia. Alleluia. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that bears no fruit he cuts away, and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes to make it bear even more. You are pruned already by means of the word that I have spoken to you. Make your home in me, as I make mine in you. A branch cannot bear fruit all by itself, but must remain part of the vine. Neither can you, unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me with me in him bears fruit in plenty, for cut off from me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is like a branch that has been thrown away. He withers. These branches are collected and thrown on the fire and they are burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask what you will and you shall get it. It is to the glory of my Father that you should bear much fruit and then you will be my disciples. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ the power of the Spirit and in union with the risen Lord, let us pray to the Father. Father, hear our prayer for your church in her life and mission throughout the world. Grant that Christian men, women and children may be gracious in speaking, attentive in listening, building up the body as one in Christ. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord bless Elizabeth, our Queen, and the life of our nation. We pray for our Prime Minister and all those in charge of government policy. Continue to pray for government scientific advisers and all those working to ensure the safety of others as lockdown restrictions begin to relax. We pray for all those who are returning to places of work, that they may be safe in what they do. For all who travel, those who staff the public transport system, and all who are anxious at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Lord, hear our prayer for the nations of the world. For nations as they respond to the ongoing coronavirus crisis. For all involved in international business and commerce. And for those parts of the world overshadowed by violence and civil strife and war. Praying for the people of Yemen, of Syria, the Central African Republic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who care for others at home and in hospital, for the work of all doctors and nurses, for the support and ancillary staff of our hospitals and health centres. We pray for all who have concerns about their health aside from COVID-19. We pray for those deemed to be most vulnerable at this time. Lord, as your Son, Jesus Christ, reached out and touched the sick, bringing health and wholeness, so we pray for our own health and well-being of body, mind and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the repose of the souls of all those who have died and gone before us, for those marked with the sign of the cross in baptism and have shared at the, your Lord's table throughout their lives. May they and all the faithful departed be drawn to the wedding banquet of the Lamb in our heavenly home. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the blessings, prayers and fellowship of all the saints, giving thanks for John the Baptist, patron of our Minster Church, St George, patron of the church in Wadham, St Andrew, patron of the church in South Croydon. And we honour Mary, mother of our Lord and Saviour, as we greet her and say, Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full, full of, of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord, you promise to hear the prayers of your faithful people as we cry out in the name of the risen Lord and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Grant us all that we pray for, that is in accordance with your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, 
for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be present, be present, Lord Jesus Christ, our risen High Priest. Make yourself known in the breaking of bread. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Almighty and Eternal Father, and in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell, and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise, and opened to them the gate of life eternal. And so, in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Remember, Lord, your church in every land. Reveal her unity, guard her faith, and preserve her in peace. Together with Christopher, our bishop, Jonathan, Bishop of Croydon, and all pastors who minister in your name, Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St John the Baptist, St George, St Andrew, the holy apostles and martyrs, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you for ever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood amongst his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sin, sin of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Lord has risen and shone his light upon us, whom he has redeemed us by his blood. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Christ, who out of defeat brings new hope and a new future, fill you with his new life and the blessing of God Almighty. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.